Potato Sensei here, back again with another tier list video. Now, saying that the start of 2020 is right around the corner, I really wanted to make a tier list for the big headliners for the Nintendo Switch. Some of them I haven't played, but I just wanted to put them there to show people that these are also games on the Switch. This is kind of a guide, but also filled with personal preference for me being a gamer, so I just wanted to show the games here. So, starting off, I want to put the games that I've never played. We have System Seller, Amazing, Good, Mediocre, and Never Played. We'll start off with Never Played. Now, first, I want to put 1-2 Switch here, because I haven't played it yet. I didn't really want to get it. I thought, thought that it was a step down from Nintendo Land from the Wii U, so I didn't really want to get it. I had a friend play it with me for a little bit, and I wasn't that interested, seeing that it's a $60 price tag. It was a bit too much. But Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, on the other hand, I was really interested in it. I played the demo a few times. I might still get it, actually. Looks pretty good. Dragon Quest was... eh. Looked alright. Um, Arms I played, Astral Chain, Mario Odyssey, all these I've played. Ultimate Alliance, I have not played. I might get it. So, I think we can put that there. I, I haven't seen too many trailers for it. Just... Looks like a linear JRPG. Fire Emblem Three Houses I saw come out recently. I I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I'm still kind of um, thinking about that one. Kirby Star Allies, not really. Wasn't very interested in it. Didn't really like, I'm not a huge Kirby fan. I mean, 1-2 Switch was a bit better. Mario Kart, or not Mario Kart, Mario Rosie Deluxe. Didn't think it was a good. Um, that much of a game on the Wii U. Didn't like the 2D feel with the 3D Mario model. And I don't know why they're giving it a second chance. Luigi's Mansion 3, I actually have not gotten. I kind of intend. I'm not that big of a Luigi's Man f Mansion fan, so I never played. Mario Tennis Aces, I was a little bit interested in. It. Um, I think I can go right here. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I have also not played yet. Let me go put that there. Yoshi's Crafted World, have not played. It looks like I haven't had a lot of, haven't played a lot of games, but I think it's okay. There's gonna be a bunch of other games here. Um, let's see. The last two, the last game is Octopath Traveler. The graphics and the art style looked really interesting, actually. I haven't seen the combat as much, but I think we can put it here. It looks pretty good. Now, the actual tier list of games I've played. Let's see it. Starting things off, we have Mario Odyssey. I have made a bunch of videos on this topic. I love this game. It's so much fun. The story is good, characters are good, music is fantastic, gameplay is pretty easy, but it's still fun. People always think that if a game's easy, it's bad. I always love a good challenge, but even if it was easy, it was still a bunch of fun. Definitely System Seller. Ugh, Arms on the other hand. Um, it was one of the launch titles, I believe. I didn't like it that much. I actually got it, but I don't regret buying it because it was fun. Um, it was cool to start off playing it on the online and with your friends. But as the time went by, it's pretty dead. Like, I see nobody talking about it ever. All the videos are like months ago, years ago almost. I I, I think I think it's dead. It, it still was still fun though, but the lack of actual substance on it wasn't enough. Astral Chain though, I love this game. Um, I was gonna make a review and a bunch of videos on it, but I never really got around to doing it. Cause after I finished it, um, a, bu a bunch of the reviews I saw were weeks um, old, and I bought it a while after it had it actually released. But still, it was a bunch of fun. Definitely amazing, amazing Astral Chain. Um, the storyline was great, characters were really good, the music was fantastic, I love the choirs in it, and overall the combat and gameplay wasn't as hard as I thought, and the leveling up and progression system was a lot more simpler than I thought it would be. Zelda Breath of the Wild, a huge game on the Switch. I had a bunch of fun playing it. It was an amazing game. Um, there were some minor flaws, but that doesn't 
um, impact the greatness of this game. It's so much fun to play. I saw that it won Game of the Year for 2017. Definitely deserved a great job by Nintendo. I really liked it. It was so much fun. The characters were great. Music was so atmospheric. It was amazing. I just, I had so much fun playing it. One of the best games on the Switch. Huge impact on the Zelda universe. Definitely a system seller, but does it beat Mario Odyssey? For impact, it does. And just seeing that I have more fun with it. This isn't a, like, best games. This is more for personal preference. When I made my Mario Odyssey vs. Zelda Breath of the Wild video, I... I chose the Mario Odyssey for the win because I thought that it was a better game. This is more personal preference, so I think that Zelda wins against Mario Odyssey. For Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, now for this game, I... I don't know if I should put it on Never Played, because I actually got it for Christmas in 2018, I think. But I never really got around to playing it, because I got a bunch of other games, too. So, for what I've played with it, I'm used to either slower Mario or fast Sonic, which Sonic Mania I'll talk about in a little bit. I wasn't really used to it. The controls were a little bit eh with me. I felt like Donkey Kong was kind of hard to control. It was really bulky, but... It was still pretty fun, music was good, level design was good, so I'll put it in good for now. I'll, if it's um, if I keep playing the game more and it's amazing, then I'll definitely move it up. But for now, playing maybe like a maybe like an hour or two of gameplay, it didn't shock me as much as Mario Odyssey did, but it was a port, so I didn't expect too much from it. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Everybody is here. Every single character in any Smash Brothers title is in this game. Except Waluigi. Ah, I don't know. Every single character was so much fun to play. Definitely system seller. Biggest Smash game ever. The music was amazing. I feel like N Nintendo put like all the good stuff from Mario. All the good stuff from Zelda. All the stuff from all its other franchises. And mashed it up into a really fun experience. It was so much fun to play combat it's not very hard but when you're playing against other opponents if you can beat them or if you can beat a harder opponent it feels really good the storyline i thought was all right i haven't played the smash brothers brawl game which had a more deeper storyline but i thought it was really good oh, more system sellers than any other tier all the other tiers combined almost mario kart 8 deluxe um it was a port but the amount of DLC footage just overwhelmed me of Zelda, Captain Falcon, Animal Crossing, all in a Mario Kart game. Having a, a Hyrule uh, track, I think it was called the Hyrule Circuit, was just amazing. The soundtrack in this game too is just amazing. I really wanted to make more videos on it and I might get around to it. But I made one video and didn't do as good as I thought or expected it to be. But I still had a lot of fun with it. So I think we can... Well, for personal preference, I feel like I had more fun with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I thought it was really fun for now. I think that's good. Because Smash Brothers Ultimate is still in System Seller. And do you get Mario? Well, for the Wii U, it... The Wii U had a Mario Kart 8, but not the Deluxe version. It was a bit lacking. And they added more Mario tracks in it, too. Not just the DLC for Zelda, Fal Captain Falcon, and Animal Crossing. But still a lot of fun. I think it's good. Mario Maker 2. I recommend this game to anyone who wants a really fun and easy and relaxed if you want an experience. It's so much fun. I was expecting it to have all this code stuff to write. You have to command your own things, um, animate everything, but it was pretty easy. Just with a, with a tap of a button, you can change the entire theme. It's really easy to build. You can just drag with your finger on it and make it blocks everywhere. I didn't like how the Pro Controller fed up fit up with it. It was kind of hard to control, but doing just the um, handheld, it was a lot of fun. Playing so many cool courses with other people was really fun. So I think it's definitely amazing. I don't think it beats Astral Chain. Astral Chain was a really fun game, actually. I think I had more fun with it than other people did, but overall, I thought it was really good. Mario Maker 2, I like the storyline, but it's kind of hard finding really good courses 
courses from other people. Some of them are really easy and kind of just stupid, but it's still a lot of fun. Mario Party. Now this game I did get. It was one of the ones that I think I got around with um, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which I didn't play as much as I wanted to. I don't feel like I can judge it right because I haven't played it with my family yet. I've only played the single player a little bit. And it, I feel like I can't judge it right with this, just playing it with single player. I mean, it was a cool concept. It's not. I don't have a. I don't have a bad category. Just mediocre. But I mean, all these games are fun. But I think it's. It's there for now. Now Sonic Mania. Now this game I recently got for Christmas this year in 2019. I got it for Christmas. I've played almost four zones in a matter of days. I mean, I've had packed schedules, so I didn't get to play that much, but from what I've played, it's so much fun. Soundtrack is really great. So much fun. I thought it was going to be crazy and hard to control what the fast character Sonic is, but it actually wasn't that hard. I was scared because I'm used to Mario where, I mean, it's not too slow, but it's slow enough that you can dissect everything from the level. With this, I thought I was just going to race through it and I was going to miss everything because I'm usually... I'm kind of perfectionist when it comes to levels, where I'll play Donkey Kong and I'll get frustrated because I'll play for it for like 10 minutes in one level, and then I'll die and I'll lose all my progress, but I'll put it at amazing because it was really fun. The soundtrack's really good, gameplay's good. It took, it's my first Sonic game and boy did it leave a good impression. Four games remaining. Splatoon 2. Now this game... It was really fun to play. I feel like I, again with um, Astral Chain, I liked it more than other people. I didn't get around to playing Splatoon on the Wii U. I feel like I didn't play huge mainline games on the Wii U. Because this, the Nintendo Switch was my first main Nintendo console. A lot of people think or thought that like the NES was theirs, SNES was theirs. Nintendo 64, well, that was my dad's big console when he was a kid. So the Switch was my mainline console. Splatoon 2, first Splatoon game. Um, Pokemon Sword, I play other Pokemon games. Um, Zelda Breath of the Wild, first main Zelda game. Mario Odyssey, first main Mario game. Mario er, Smash Brothers Ultimate, first Smash game. This was a big console for me. And for Splatoon 2, I think we can put it at good. It wasn't amazing, but it, it's on like borderline from good to amazing. Because borderline amazing because I think it's really fun. The soundtrack is so immersive. And the character art style and just development is really cool. I liked it a lot. I had so much fun playing it. The first two games I got on the Switch were Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon 2. I both had so much fun playing both of them. And it was just really fun to play. I loved how Nintendo took the shooter concept. And Nintendo, it's not childish, the company. But they can shape something for all ages. And I feel like for Splatoon 2... I took something that could be a machine gun thing and turned into paintballing, which I thought was really cool. And the squid thing was a really cool idea. Props to whoever came up with that. Zelda Link's Awakening. Now, this came in the- I'm, I'm gonna make a video on an, about Nintendo's huge fall lineup. They had Zelda Link's Awakening, Pokemon, Astral Chain, Mario Maker 2. Now, that these were huge, huge games. Now, for Zelda- You see, I wanna put it in good- it's not, I think it's better than Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which I haven't played that much. I haven't finished all the Link's Awakening. The art style and music is just amazing, but I'm not a huge fan of the 2D Zelda thing. I mean, there's so many 2D Zelda games, but I'm way more of a fan of the 3D. Pokemon Sword and Shield, possibly the most controversial games on the Switch. Huge controversy. Reusing old models. Horrible graphics, horrible consistency. This game is all over the place. It was beautifully designed character and it's just horribly designed tree. I felt like Hop the Rival was just a joke. The storyline was an embarrassment on every front. Legendaries were ho not horrible. The designs were cool, but the development was all over the place. And the main villain, I, I didn't know who it was. The guy who's supposed to be the villain is a good guy. The person who's been an annoying brat the whole game is of course bad i mean you can see it from the start and they let your other rival i think her name is like bead join the the tournament like five rounds in i mean you gotta start from the start definitely it was good i mean it was fun it's 
Not as good as Splatoon 2, but I got shield only if anybody wants to trade me in sword exclusives. That would be great. I'll trade you Zamazenta and then I'll trade you it back. Big as I love Zamazenta, but um, I didn't think it was that great. The last game of my tier list. Untitled Goose Game. You see, I took this game as a joke to start out. I thought it would be, ugh, just a regular game. But I saw the trailer and I thought it was pretty good. I actually got fooled because I thought that Untitled Goose Game meant that they were going to make a title for it. Like for Luigi's Mansion 3, but I liked it. It was cool. Didn't have that, that much substance, but I mean, it was a lot of fun to play. So, I think it's definitely good. I, I have, I think that's good. A lot of people may say that Unheld Goose Game um, is um, worse than DK Tropical Freeze, but I haven't gotten to play that as much. I'll play Unheld Goose Game more. So there you have it. The Nintendo Switch 2017 through 2019 tier list. There it is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a happy new year. Merry Christmas, and see you later. Potato Sensei, out.